Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about top 10 KYC interview questions. Irrespective of bank uh, you're applying for, these questions will be asked. And I can assure you that if you watch this video from beginning till end, this will definitely improve your chances to get selected. And if you're watching this video or you are on our channel for the first time, please subscribe for more videos on email and KYC concept. And if you have any question or feedback, please share your comments. So let's begin with the, with the first question. Tell me something about yourself. Uh, we all know that uh, in all the interview, we will we'll, we will face this question and it is quite relevant and uh, this will give you an opportunity to impress your interview. In almost 70% uh, cases, as an interviewer, uh, you get an understanding whether candidate has required skill as per the job description. So how to answer this question? Although you may have experience of uh, other processes, but st since it's, uh, it's an interview for KYC position, we need to highlight uh, KYC specific experience. And we can also talk about uh, email or KYC related certifications, such as uh, CAMS, etc. It always uh, gives a good impact on your interview. So first of all, uh, we, we uh, have to understand that we can't give the same answer for all the job opportunity. So what I mean is, uh, if you have, uh, if you are applying for, let's say, KYC analyst role, uh, we need to talk about uh, our KYC analyst experience, talk about uh, line of business, uh, whether it's retail, commercial, wholesale, etc. Talk about your expertise on different customer types, such as trust, fund, company, uh, and uh, high, medium, low risk customer type. Uh, you may also talk about whether you're working on client onboarding or uh, periodic refresh. And then similarly, uh, if you are applying for a KYC manager or team lead role, uh, we need to talk about our responsibility as a, as a manager. Uh, so it can be execution of, of the program, creation of policy and procedure, reporting to senior management, uh, providing leadership, management, and coaching to direct reports, uh, work collaboratively with cross-functional groups, and leader for, uh, to drive results. So these, these are uh, uh, some attribute or experience which you need to highlight. Now, the next, next question is, would be, tell me more about your current profile. Here, an interviewer would like to ascertain whether your current profile matches with their current requirement. Now, as a candidate, uh, we need to highlight all the work or responsibility that have been assigned to you. For example, if apart from providing a case, if you, if you are uh, also working as a subject matter expert, we need to highlight this. And also, if you're managing a team, or handling their queries, managing a stakeholder. All these things need to be highlighted. Uh, so we can also talk about assessing and uh, reviewing client documentation as per uh, KYC policy and client due diligence procedure, collaborating with the uh, quality check team and team lead to resolve escalated issues, assess assess client legal hierarchy um, and, and the KYC documentation requirement as per the policy and procedure, determine various customer uh, or entity type, product type, uh, and the corresponding documentation required to complete policy requirement, uh, analyzing document information uh, received and assess additional steps. All, all these, uh, uh, need need to be articulated well highlighted well so that will will certainly help your interviewer to understand 
that you are uh, uh, yeah what all uh, responsibility you are looking at the next question uh, would you please provide your understanding of uh, <clears throat> end to end kyc cdd process so in this question uh, we we need to clearly explain the process so we may start with client onboarding process talk about uh, client identification and uh, verification document uh, verification verification through third party databases customer screening and uh, risk assessment talk about attributes like uh, uh, legal existence registration information uh, address of of your customer which need to be verified uh, regulatory related information whether uh, uh, your customer is is regulated or it's listed on any of the stock exchange uh, associated parties uh, key individuals like ceo cfo uh, beneficial ownership source of fund source of wealth so this will exactly uh, give a, a comfort to your interview that uh, you understand the concepts process and data attribute of uh, the kyc process and another question which you may expect is what are the method of verification documentary or electronic used in kyc cdd process so answer to this question would would differ a uh, basis uh, different entity type so for example in case of uh, company or corporate it would be company registry search extract certificate of uh, incorporation issued by corporate register certificate of registration memorandum of association article of uh, association and if you're talking about trust it would be original or certified copy of uh, or a certified extract of trust deed uh, original or certified copy of registration certificate uh, original or certified copy of a letter from a solicitor or a qualified accountant that confirms the trust arrangement include uh, including the name of a trust trustee uh, settler a uh, copy of the legislation establishing the trust so however uh, like one should should uh, should uh, know what data is being collected from from which document so for example uh, date of incorporation can be looked at uh, from uh, certificate of incorporation you can also verify uh, the legal name of of the company from from the document so now let's move move on uh, to the next question how is client onboarding different from periodic refresh so here uh, we we highlight how periodic refresh or ongoing due diligence is performed so where uh, high risk uh, high risk account are reviewed every year medium risk account are reviewed every 2 years low risk account are uh, reviewed every 5 year so here we can discuss the objective of both uh, onboarding process and uh, periodic refresh uh, onboarding process is being uh, like, like let's say onboarding process is being performed on a new customer and also we can primarily talk about all the attributes uh, which we have discussed in in the previous question now moving on to next question how do you onboard fund to onboard a fund uh, uh, we we need to do uh, idnv of of the fund manager basis its entity type and also uh, need to collect and verify different documents of the fund uh, which comprises of uh, investment management agreement uh, that is ima or a investment advisory agreement portfolio fact sheet uh, prospectus 
offering memorandum or information memorandum board resolution of the fund appointing the fund manager power of attorney of the fund at authorizing the fund manager authorization letter signed by fund authorizing the fund manager uh, legal entity identifier database search search of the relevant regulated database and and uh, and then we we also need to verify uh, a regulatory status of uh, of the fund manager uh, its jurisdiction uh, associated parties uh, such as a uh, relationship manager ownership structure uh, like like its immediate parent uh, um, and and uh, its its other uh, associated parties need to be identified and other other information also need to be verified uh, so for example uh, what is the nature of business of the, of the trust uh, what is the source of fund and source of wealth so this all will will be required uh, to onboard a fund right so moving on to next question uh, how do you onboard trust to onboard a trust, the requirement will be different from fund. So let's understand what we need to do when we onboard a trust. So for a trust, we, we need to collect and uh, verify documents such as uh, uh, original or certified copy of, uh, of trust deed. Uh, original or certified copy of uh, a registration certificate, uh, original or certified copy of a letter from a solicitor qualified accountant that confirm the trust arrangement including name of uh, trust, trustee and settler, copy of the legislation establishing the trust, a search extract from the relevant government registry and the regulatory body. So in, in case of trust, uh, we, we need to verify the legal name of the trust, legal name of trustee, a regulatory status, whether uh, the trust is regulated or not, uh, operating address need to be verified, associated parties need to be ID and B, uh, uh, for example, trustee, beneficiary need to be identified, uh, what kind of trust it is, uh, what is the nature of business. So all these these uh, data attribute need to be captured uh, uh, while uh, you are onboarding a trust. Now let's, let's move on to another question, uh, which is also quite relevant. Uh, how, how do you onboard a company? Now, to onboard a company, the requirement will be different from fund and trust. So let's let's understand what we need to do uh, to onboard a company. So com company can be of different types, uh, such as domestic proprietary company, domestic public, foreign public company, etc. And uh, to onboard a company, we need to understand and verify company details like uh, legal name of a company, business, trading, previous name of the company, uh, registered address or uh, principal place of business, uh, country of tax residency, uh, what is the industry of that company or, or what is the nature of business, uh, source of wealth, source of fund, uh, date of incorporation, regulatory status, whether it's it's regulated by uh, any any of the regulator in that country, listing status uh, whether that company is listed on uh, any of the approved stock exchange, uh, ownership structure, uh, beneficial owner need to be identified, uh, ID and V of senior and uh, key individual need to be performed. Moving on to next question. Uh, how, how do you identify source of fund and source of wealth? A source of fund is, is the origin of, uh, of the particular fund, uh, which are subject of, of the business relationship between bank and uh, its customer. Uh, and the bank must ensure that initial fund deposited in the account 
should be coming from legitimate source so that's why source of fund need to be identified and uh, need to be documented in 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 the cdd form uh, in in now in case of source of wealth uh, it would describe uh, the activities and sources from where client wealth both movable or immovable has been generated so it's like some of the example of source of wealth can be inheritance investment sale of asset etc now uh, like once we we are through with uh, all these question uh, so this the last question i have seen being asked uh, in in a lot of recent uh, interviews so what are the new technological trends in kyc and cdd right so so you need so here you need to showcase that you you keep on upgrading your knowledge about technology and you also understand what's going around in in the industry right so let's let's see how how we can answer this this question so one one of the recent technology uh being used is is biometrics uh like facial or voice recognition uh, where banks are uh, allowing customer to open account remotely uh with a selfie uh ai powered biometrics will match uh in in real time an applicant selfie to a passport uh, government issue id card or other official photo identification document so this way uh, uh like account opening and identification can be done remotely without uh, going to bank so a lot of bank are are uh, working on uh, on this initiative and like some of the bank has already started uh, using this technology so other other technology which we can talk about uh, uh, which banks are using uh, is is already using uh, is ai enabled chatbots and voice assistants so which are now uh, the norm or at uh, major financial institution and we also seeing a uh, social biometrics being used where a social account of cust of of uh, of of the customer are being reviewed and analyzed to identify customer risk so these are uh, like some of the uh, questions you you may expect and uh, once you know how how do, how do you need to answer this question so this will definitely going to increase your chances to to clear the interview and get the job thanks for listening and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more uh, kyc and related videos thank you